Hey guys, here with another episode of Clash of Clans. And today I want to show you guys some attacks on completely maxed out bases in Clan Wars. So these bases that you'll be seeing have completely maxed out defenses or nearly completely maxed out defenses. And they do not have maxed out walls because, you know, obviously maxed out walls is very hard. We could see here, obviously, with wall breakers and all the jump spells and wall breakers and stuff, level 11 walls aren't going to make an insane amount of difference. And nevertheless, let's get into this attack. So for this first attack here, we have Xander Mike attacking Hady King, number one against number one. So you can see he drops wall breakers to get to create two enclosures inside of this base. And then you can see he actually drops a double jump spell in the center of this base. So the reason why he does this is to just spread out his troops so that the, his troops don't enter that massive town hall enclosure in one part that they enter it in an, an entire side. So you can see his troops are just tearing through those defenses the wizards in the back just killing those expos, inferno towers, just everything. And you can see here the town hall does go down and 50% at nearly the same time now. And you can see he still has his archer queen in the center of the base. She is going to go down pretty fast now that she has nothing else to protect her. We can see on the left side he actually has a dragon along with a P.E.K.K.A. and a few wizards. And I'm not sure if the P.E.K.K.A. was by, or the dragon was by design, or just his, the, his clan castle ended up having a dragon and, you know, and it didn't really make a difference in the end of it. But you could see here, Xander gets actually pretty close to a 3-star here. Only, like, what, 1, 2, 3, only about a handful of defenses left. I believe, what is that, 5, 6, 7, 8 defenses I mean, obviously, the air defense is not going to do much against ground troops, but only a couple of air defenses left on this completely maxed out base, and Xander walks away with 2 stars and 79%. So, actually, if we go into our Warlock here, I'm going to show you a couple of replays from Last War. So, this first attack here is by James, and you can see James is going up against this base, very common base to see. I, I even use his base, a variation of it for, obviously, farming. Put my Dark Elixir storage completely centered in the center. Obviously, these defensive ring bases are just the meta now, really. And they've been the meta for so long, you know. I mean, they just work out so well against golems and stuff that, you know. And pretty much every single base that you'll see that's, like, a top base will have some sort of ring around it, actually. And, you know... So, definitely very common bases, but still, to two-star completely maxed out bases, not an easy task. So, you can see here, James actually has his level, only level 20 hero, heroes that are in the 20s. So, obviously, not having max heroes and going up against max defenses, James is automatically put at a disadvantage here. And you can see his P.E.K.K.A. actually goes in the center and gets fried within seconds by that single inferno tower there and now he is sitting at 45 percent troops on the outside to get the 50 and happily his queen here does go after the town hall and she is able to take it down for that first star 50 percent coming immediately after and james is able to pull in two stars on this completely maxed out base so you can see you're going to get 60 percent on this base and then just end it well, actually, I think all of his uh, troops died, but still a very impressive raid on a completely maxed out base, excluding walls, of course. So for this third and final attack that I want to show you guys, we actually have our leader, King Dad, attacking that player there. <laughs> and this player does have completely maxed out defenses. Except for, I believe, two cannons. Yeah, you can see two cannons are level 12. So technically, this isn't a completely maxed out base. But still, definitely close enough that it's not going to really make a difference. You're going to be doing the exact same thing if it was a completely maxed out base anyway. And you can see, actually, King Dad here also only has heroes that are in the 20s. So usually when you have heroes in the 40s, like I am currently trying to get, 
it's going to make it much, much easier to actually two-star completely maxed out bases. And that's obviously my goal. That's why I'm upgrading my heroes so fast instead of just doing wars and just chilling at Town Hall 10. And you can see here, King Dead already up to 45%. And now, just like the last raid, he is stuck basically with just his Archer Queen. But this time, the Archer Queen does have a couple of golems actually tanking for her. And you can see the last golem does turn into golemites and does go down pretty fast. But the Arch Queen on the Town Hall, she will be able to get it for the first star at 49% already. So she will have no issue getting the 50 by herself. And then he will drop some extra cleanup just to get some extra percentage points. Just in case of that case of a tiebreaker. And you can see here, King Dad will get 58% on this maxed out Town Hall 10. So as you guys know, we did win this war 71-64, and this current war that we are in, we are currently winning 25-16. to So definitely, I will probably do a clan war recap on this war. It's looking like it might get pretty close if it doesn't. If we end up blowing them out like, you know... 85 to like 50 I won't do a clan war recap on it but if it gets close definitely stay tuned for probably tomorrow is when I would record it but for today thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end make sure to comment like and subscribe for daily class of videos and today in the comments tell me down below what you guys want to see tomorrow well actually I take that back tomorrow is going to actually be a farming to max video I forgot Town Hall 11 will be released December 10th. That is what the developers have officially said on the Supercell forums. So what this means is that we have two days left. So on Thursday, so on Wednesday, I do want to do a farming to max video just so that we can compare the farming, you know, right before the update, the day before the update, and then the day after the update on probably Friday, I will also record a farming to max video just to compare it, do some analysis on it. And just see how badly farming got affected. But for today, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for daily classical kinds of videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.